Hello, I'd like to talk to you about a new farming technology that can improve yield in your corn, improve soil management, lessen your impact on the environment, and help put more money in your wallet for every acre you grow corn. It's called Optrix. But first, here's something to think about. In the last 30 years, the average yield increase in corn has been 60 bushels per acre. Now that's significant. But when you listen to some of the seed companies and hear about the kind of yield we need to produce over the next 30 years to feed and fuel a growing world, it almost makes you scratch your head. A billion more people on Earth than we have today? How is that going to happen? Better equipment? Maybe. Planting more seeds across every acre? Probably. Better seed technologies and hybrids? Definitely. But think about this. Whether we plant more seeds per acre or the seeds we do plant are able to produce a higher yield, they still need the right amount of nutrients in the soil to maximize yield. Without the nutrients, the plants just won't grow to their potential. The trick is finding a way to get the right amount of nutrients to the right plants. And that's where a new crop sensing technology called Optrix comes in. In the case of corn, the number one nutrient is nitrogen. Research shows that corn plants need to take up about one pound of nitrogen per acre from the soil for every one bushel per acre they produce. So if you plan to yield 200 bushels per acre, your crop needs access to 200 pounds of nitrogen per acre. Some of the nitrogen that your corn plants require comes from the organic matter already found in the soil naturally. A rule of thumb is that every 1% of organic matter can produce up to 30 pounds of nitrogen per acre. Think about this. 2% organic matter soils produce up to 120 pounds per acre, less nitrogen than 6% organic matter soils. That means the ideal nitrogen application can vary by 120 pounds per acre based on organic matter alone. Organic matter is just one source for nitrogen. When it comes right down to it, corn gets its nitrogen two other ways as well. There's also nitrogen provided by the previous crop. For example, if you rotate your corn with soybeans, the soybean crop leaves additional nitrogen in the field. The third and most predictable source of nitrogen is actually going into the field and applying it. The trick is knowing how much is needed and where. That's where it gets complicated. Just because there's nitrogen in the soil in the fall or even at planting time doesn't necessarily mean that the same nitrogen will be available to the crop when the plants actually need it. One reason, there's this thing called denitrification. This typically happens in lower areas of the field where water collects. Soils undergoing denitrification convert their nitrogen to a form that is lost to the air. In fact, saturated soils can lose up to 5% of the crop's available nitrogen per day. This means a soil with 150 pounds per acre of plant available nitrogen can lose 75 pounds per acre of nitrogen if it's waterlogged for just 10 days. Trying to maintain a uniform, consistent, nitrogen-rich soil base across a field through the key parts of the growing season can be a real challenge. A challenge that, if you're not ready for it, can cost you in yield potential and in input efficiency. And both of those things mean less money in the pocketbook. By applying the right amount of nitrogen in deficient areas, you can realize a four to one return on the cost of extra nitrogen applied. The challenge here is that even if your field is tabletop flat with little soil variation, it's hard to tell which parts of the field already have a healthy source of nitrogen and which areas don't. And as we talked about before, with weather and other factors, nitrogen availability can vary greatly in different parts of the field in a matter of even just a few days. So how do you make sure you're delivering the right amount of nitrogen to the right plants? Until recently, there just wasn't a simple way. However, Optrex crop sensing technology makes it much easier. Here's how it works. 
Optrix sensors are installed across an applicator boom. Each sensor has an active light system that actually shines light on the plant. This ensures a consistent light source that won't vary based on weather or time of day. By reading very subtle changes in light reflectance, the sensor can detect stress in plants. The lower crop vigor of stressed plants indicates a lack of nitrogen available to the plants. By identifying the crop vigor of the healthiest crops in the field, Optrix can determine how much nitrogen the plants with lower crop vigor will need. The goal? To bring all plants up to the ideal level of health and vigor by applying more nitrogen to the lower performing areas and less in higher performing areas. The sensors determine plant health in real time by reading two things. First, the sensors measure the amount of vegetation using near-infrared light reflectance. The second thing the sensors read is the reflectance of visible light from the plant for detecting nitrogen in the plants. Together, these two factors create what is called a vegetative index, an overall measurement of crop vigor. That index helps determine the health of the plant as the applicator passes over it in real time. The sensors talk directly to the cab monitor, relaying information. Optrix averages the readings across the boom and recommends the amount of nitrogen that should be applied. From there, Direct Command controls the rate of application, changing it on the fly to match the recommendations. Let's look at how this works from the cab. Once the crop hits at least the V5 growth level, we can use the Optrix crop sensor. The ideal equipment for this is a high clearance applicator because once the crop hits the V5 level, it begins growing very quickly. However, the Optrix will work with a number of different equipment setups. First, we go through a brief setup process. Next, we initiate the reference strip. The grower identifies healthier parts of the field, generally areas with good drainage and historically good organic material in the soil. If there is a history of higher yielding areas, that can be a good indicator as well. The operator then scans these areas so that the optic system can identify the healthiest part of the field. It doesn't matter how much ground is covered during this process, but five minutes in the field allows the system to find the ideal plants to use as a baseline. Then the system allows you to identify your own minimum and maximum application rate. Then you're ready to roll, and you can watch the display show you the vegetative index and application rate as you cross the field in real time. So, does this really work? Over the past two years, we've conducted a number of field tests. Our research has shown an average of $20 to $30 per acre of increased profits over a grower's uniform nitrogen rate. Our research has even shown yield benefits over grower rates as high as $100 per acre in parts of the field using crop sensing with Optrix. Let me show you. Here's an example of a field with organic matter variability. You can see the middle of the field has high organic matter, but the areas here and here have lower organic matter. You can't see it here, but these areas are on side hills where they lose some of their organic material. Focusing on one area of the field, we tested a flat rate nitrogen application in these areas based on the farmer's recommendations, and applied rates based on Optrix crop sensing in these areas. The results? In the areas of the field where there was already high organic material levels, Optrix and the grower's uniform rate were almost the same, with almost the same yield. But in areas of the field where organic material was low, the grower was able to achieve a 6 bushel per acre increase by applying nitrogen at a rate 26 pounds per acre higher than uniform rate. If you assume corn is $5 and nitrogen costs 60 cents per pound, the grower pockets $1,440 in profit over 100 acres where organic matters are low, just by applying the right amount of nitrogen to the right areas of the field. Now let's show an example of denitrification. Here's a field with obvious signs of denitrification. You can see the lower area where standing water in the field caused denitrification. Here's another example. You can tell exactly where the tile lines are under these rows, helping to minimize denitrification in the rows directly above the tile lines. 
you can see there are a number of variables that can cause denitrification. Let's look at how Optrix worked in this field. We applied nitrogen, alternating passes between flat rate application here and Optrix crop sensor application here. Let's take a closer look at just a part of this field. In these parts, we applied the grower recommended 80 pounds per acre. In these parts, we applied the Optrix recommendation, which ranged between 90 pounds and 130 pounds per acre. Here you can see the as applied map, along with the harvest map. It's pretty easy to see that the areas where Optrix crop sensing was used had a consistently higher yield compared to the flat rate application. Now take a look at the yield results. By applying an average of 38 pounds per acre more nitrogen, we see a yield 37 bushels per acre higher than the flat rate application. Say corn is $5 and nitrogen costs 60 cents per pound. Over even just 100 acres, results like this would mean $16,220 to your bottom line. So whether you're looking at denitrification or the challenge of variation of organic material across your field, by applying the right amount of nitrogen to the right areas of the field, Optrix crop sensing technology can help you put more money in your pocket. If you would like more information about Optrix crop sensors, visit us online or contact your ag leader dealer. Thanks for watching.